Monday morning. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's Coach Daryl Johnson here, Harvest Coaching and IYC Coaching. We are going to get started in just a moment. We're going to talk today about my 11th day of goof ups in my entrepreneurial world. <clears throat> so thanks for joining me. It's a live video and I have another book this week to give away. So leave me a number between 1 and 100 in the comment section. Let me know if you're watching this live or on replay and I'll put you into the random number generator drawing on Friday for my <clears throat> third favorite entrepreneurial book. <clears throat> Welcome, thanks for joining me. Uh, we're gonna, today we're gonna talk about the 11th day of, of my, <clears throat> excuse me, entrepreneurial goofs. And today we're gonna talk about making sure that you <laughs> research uh, important documents. So we're gonna get into this. So let's, let's talk about what kind of documents would <clears throat> fall in this category. Things like <clears throat> a lease, um, uh, a rental agreement, um, any kind of a vendor uh, agreement where there's uh, terms where maybe they, they um, uh, front you merchandise and you pay them back later. <clears throat> uh, these will all be things you want to really, really research carefully. And when it comes to the big ticket items like your, your lease, if you're, if you're renting a brick and mortar property or if you're leasing equipment, <clears throat> um, or cars, etc., make sure you really take your time to research the <clears throat> specific terms how long, penalties, uh, added fees. Uh, I'm telling you guys, <clears throat> it's very easy to get excited about moving forward with something in, the, in this realm, only to find out later that there's like a whole bunch of extra fees that you didn't, that you weren't aware of, or the repayment terms um, were not what you expected. You A, a contract <clears throat> is basically a meeting of the minds between two or more parties. And a lease agreement, a rental agreement, uh, vendor agreement. These are all contracts, and there's, which means that part part uh, A, um, partner A has things that they're going to do or, or or produce, and part B has things they're going to do or produce, and they have to match up. And it's very very common, and I've done this myself, where you get excited about moving forward in project, getting equipment, or leasing a place, or doing a partnership agreement, and you just you just jump in and uh, go for it, and you find out later that there are things that that are. <laughs> not in your favor <clears throat> or maybe aren't equitable for both for all parties involved and when it comes to the big stuff i recommend you guys get a lawyer a, a lawyer that specializes in that field so if you're going to have a lease looked at get a you know a lawyer that specializes in real estate not one that specializes in divorce although law has common ground and crosses over there are specific things that you want them to look for and to, to indicate so again if you're just joining me uh, this is my day 11 to 15 of my biggest entrepreneurial goofs, and I'm sharing you guys all of my <clears throat> dirty laundry, if you will, when it comes to making mistakes in the business world so that you don't have to do the same thing. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes, gain some um, uh, benefit from the wisdom I've experienced over the years of doing things wrong. And I've done things right, of course, but I've done a lot of things wrong. And oftentimes, um, people don't want to talk about that because they're like, oh, you know, everything's been sunshine and roses and unicorns and everything's been smooth and well that's not true i don't know any entrepreneur personally i mean i'm sure they're out there that that didn't go through periods of uh paying for mistakes <clears throat> whether it's not reading the market right or whether it's not doing uh, research on the demographic um you know lots of them so i've covered so far this is my 11th day of covering the, all the goofs i've made so you guys can benefit today is about making sure you research important documentation Anything where there's a significant exchanges of money, time, or resources that are going back or forth, make sure that you are really looking into the details of how that works out. <clears throat> and again, like I said before, if it's a big ticket thing, you know, if it's going to cost thousands of dollars or millions of dollars, depending on the scope of your business, make sure you get an attorney that specializes in that kind of law to look it over. And, uh, you know, I, I, this is one of the things in, in, as you go into entrepreneurship you, that you don't... Well, I'm telling you because you're listening to this video. But oftentimes they aren't told. They aren't. You aren't told how many uh, pitfalls there are as you walk through the business world. You know, when you're an employee and you show up to a, a a job and you do your task and you get your paycheck, it's very easy to forget <clears throat> or not or just be blissfully ignorant of all the stuff that has to happen behind the scenes to make your job possible. And this is one of the frustrations I have with people like, oh, you know, just 
you know, I, I want a job that pays all this money and I deserve this and I have no skills or anything, but, you know, but I'm like, uh, but what did you risk? You know, if you, if you're an employee and your business shuts down tomorrow, the business you work for, then you, you are, are obligated to find another job. So your, your revenue stream of income by exchanging your hours for dollars has, has stopped. But if you're an entrepreneur and your business closes down, not only do you lose your revenue stream, but you lose all the investment of time, sweat equity, money, uh, goodwill. Uh, that all goes away, folks. So uh, I don't want to get all preachy about it, but this is, is there a, a, a very common tactic to try to divide the, the different groups of people in our country. I suppose any other country that has a uh, anything resembling a free market system, which ours resembles one, but it isn't, is that you know there's a lot of things to watch out for. And this is what this whole this is, this whole video series is about is giving entrepreneurs, whether they're starting out or whether they're they're going along their business, things to look out for. <clears throat> you know, but not being in a, in a negative way. There's ways. Any problem has a solution. So in this particular video, I got a little off track. Apologize for that. Get a little passionate about this stuff. This video. It's about when you have an important exchange of resources, leasing equipment, buying equipment, you know, financing stuff, leasing of a space, do the research on the documentation, make sure it's equitable for both parties. I'm not saying you should try, try to like rip off the other half of, of, the, of the contract, you know, you like where you get everything you want and they get nothing. Um, if you get in the habit of, of thinking this way, if you get in the habit of like making sure you squeeze every drop of, of, money or, or advantage out of every exchange, you're going to find people aren't going to want to do business with you. Business is a voluntary exchange of resources. So if, if you have this business mindset where I'm going to go in this, into this contract negotiation and I want to make sure I get everything I possibly can, that's fine. Just be aware that if you always have that mindset, you know, um, you're going to find doing business with people is going to be more challenging in the future. The business mindset I would bring me is that I want to maximize, you know, what I can get out of this while also ensuring the other half of this of this contract uh, feels good about what they're getting so that we can do business in the future. So it's not always about getting every drop. It's sometimes the juice isn't worth the squeeze. If, you're, if the squeeze is going to cause you to uh, be persona non grata for future negotiations. All right, folks, hope that makes sense. Again, leave me a number in the comment section. Uh, 1 to 100. I'll do the drawing for my third favorite business book this Friday. I appreciate you guys joining me. You know where to find me. If, you, if you're if you not on Facebook, well, if you're on Facebook, go to Harvest Coach Daryl. If you're on Instagram, Harvest Coach Daryl, and my YouTube page is up and running. The link isn't on here. I will, um, <clears throat> I will have that link in the description of the video. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.